I'm Jim Reeves, Technical Director of the Gravity Light Foundation. I was always a creative person, did really enjoy making things. The potential outcome of some, some creative process where you're just trying to solve a problem, where that outcome can be used in such a tremendously positive way, it really drives you to set about solving that problem. I was amazed to learn the number of people who live off-grid without access to power. The unit cost of power to people who live off-grid is thousands of times higher per unit energy than you might pay if you're on-grid. And then typically you're going to be burning something for your light source, and that's a biomass, and the, the biggest biomass that's typical is kerosene. When I was growing up, there was no electricity. It was very difficult to get things like solar panels. They are very expensive. People don't like using the kerosene lamps, but they still have to use them because they have no option. Eh, wakati ingine ni wakua watu wanapata mafua. Ubaya wa hii mafuta, kuna garama moja. Wakati kama wewe huna pesa, muna lala kwa giza. Naona miaka sitini, pengine hiko hiyo. We were looking at the question of how will we store some energy to get it back when you need it. And the principles of turning a raised weight into um, a, a power, electrical power output, we're always going to rely upon a gear train and a small generator. The idea of hoisting the weight gave us no connection to how strong you are, no connection to how tall you are, and the ability for the light to stay on all of the time. The big idea, the lifting a bag, is very much a start point. And from there, you're on a long journey of addressing a thousand other problems. We've been through a number of iterations in the design, and we started to find that it was developing knots and tangles. We had to make the judgment at that point that there were significant changes required to the design in order to eliminate this risk. If you're going to do anything that's vaguely innovative, then you're going to go through loops of real frustration and crushing disappointment. You are going to, that's going to be part of that journey. GLO-1, we took it out to Peña and we installed it in a family's home. I'd sort of always imagined that when we got to that point of sort of really first seeing the, the, the outcome in context that I'd feel like a huge milestone had been reached. And the only thing that I saw was everything that we needed to improve. When we had the previous gravity powered LED light, we had problems with it because then the parents go out, the children used to swing along with it. So it actually broke the gear box inside there. You, you put the product in the hands of kids and you see how they interact with it. You have to get a sense of what a sudden additional load is going to be. So I weighed my kids. <laughs> um, it starts to set some parameters for how strong things need to be. You evaluate and learn through the process of doing. And then the real, the real test is putting it in the hands of users. Hii ni meipokea kwa imani na ninaiona na inasaidia family yangu kulengana na vile wambavyo wanaendelea na, ma, na masomo yao jioni. Eh. I think that it's, it's always been very important to me that products have a good reason to exist. What we're trying to do is to have a, this positive impact of improving life in general. If it can ultimately improve the lives of the kids who get access to study, it needs to be achieving some scale in order to have a positive impact for a lot of people.